But, just a few hours ago, something hit the wrestling news websites and the internet wrestling community really, really hard. Something that really hurt a lot of wrestling fans, most wrestling fans. And that was the fact that and it's not, not even the fact that Jeff Hardy was released by WWE. It's just the fact that once again, Jeff Hardy, it appears we haven't gotten any full confirmation on this. This is just pure speculation. But once again, it appears that Jeff Hardy has succumbed to one of the worst uh, illnesses to ever hit mankind, which is addiction to any kind of drug or, or, or painkillers or alcohol or however you want to call them. And I'm not going to get into that because his history with that has been widely documented. It's, well, it's widely known amongst all wrestling fans. The trouble that Jeff Hardy has had, I believe for over two decades at this point. It's just surprising because just a few weeks ago, and I, and I understand that that interview was filmed weeks ago or possibly months in advance, the Broken School sessions that he just had with Stone Cold Steve Boston on the, on the Peacock Network for WWE where, where he mentioned where Stone Cold straight up asked him about his, his, his issues with uh, with substance abuse, and Jeff Hardy got into it. He he mentioned that uh, he had been fighting it for a while. That uh, that he had been that he had been clean for quite some time right now. So again, I'm just stating I'm just stating what he said, and I'm just speculating on the fact that nothing's been confirmed. There's no confirmation of substance abuse on the part of Jeff Hardy. It's just what everyone assumes. So that's. That's surprising in its own right. And then we've we've been seeing Jeff Hardy on SmackDown. He's been having quite some entertaining segments. He's been getting a great reception from the crowd. And if you ask me, prior to all of this, um, I would have pretty much penciled in Jeff Hardy to challenge Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship sometime between now and WrestleMania. I would have penciled that in, no doubt. As a matter of fact, I was looking forward to it. I don't think Jeff Hardy has another uh, world title run in his career. I don't think he would have been able to beat Roman Reigns for the title or they would have booked that. But in the land of SmackDown, there are very few real contenders for the main event and Jeff Hardy was one of them and now because Jeff Hardy has been released because of his alleged substance abuse there's an empty spot on Smackdown now we all know that on at day one Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship once again but after the, after that who's going to challenge Reigns for the title So again, it is surprising. First of all, I just want to say I've been a Jeff Hardy fan ever since I first caught him, caught him on my screen, which was late 2008, early 2009 on SmackDown. I know that may come as a shock because he's been a part of the WWE for quite a while, but uh, in 2005, I started watching SmackDown. He wasn't a part of that roster. He was on over uh, uh, with TNA Wrestling, and he went to, to Monday Night Raw. I didn't have cable, so I did not see Jeff Hardy until... Late 2008. And I became a fan instantly. I can't even snap. Instantly. So, yeah. Uh, I popped for Jeff Hardy when they brought his uh, uh, traditional main event theme song. No More Words, I believe it's called. I popped for that. So, yeah. Uh, it sucks. And it's unfortunate because, again, WWE programming, uh, at the end of the day, this is a wrestling talk show, so I have to 
put emphasis on the fact of who's going to challenge for the Universal title and Jeff Hardy's the main contender, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I have to put an emphasis on that. But at the end of the day, I've said this multiple times on this show. This show is about wrestling. It's about entertainment. Entertainment, ultimately, it does not matter. It's, it's just a show. So basically what I'm trying to say is, Jeff Hardy, we care about you. The entire IWC cares about you. We wish you a speedy recovery, and hopefully you have the friends and family and all the people around you to support you to get over this um, illness that once that you have once again succumbed to. And again, this is just a show, and the show must go on. We're going to have SmackDown on later on tonight. But Jeff Hardy, just know that when you do come back, wherever you come back, there will always be fans that will support you no matter what. That's been proven in the past, and it will continue to be proven in the months and years to come. As far as contract goes, it is being reported that Jeff Hardy becomes a free agent uh, somewhere around March of next year. He, ha he does have a 90-day no-compete clause from WWE, so we can't expect him to appear on any kind of show until that time and with the circumstances regarding his release from WWE I seriously doubt that any major company in the US and I'm talking about you AEW would venture into actually signing Jeff Hardy before he gets himself clean again allegedly and is able to support his responsibilities so yeah Jeff Hardy take care spend time with your family get healthy us wrestling fans we will always be here we are part of your support system and we love you